Hello! Today I'll be talking about movie review number 33. And this movie is called Dream Girls. This is a 2006 movie directed by Bill Condon and it stars Jamie Foxx, Beyonce Knowles, Eddie Murphy, and a bunch of other talented actors and actresses. And here's a little fun fact. This was Jennifer Hudson's first film war ever. So I saw this on July 15th, 2020 at the Showcase Cinema Deluxe in Springdale, Ohio, and I loved it. 9.5 out of 10. I really, really loved it. So, Dreamgirls is based on a Broadway musical of the same name, and the Dreamgirls, the girls that are the Dreamgirls in the movie, are actually based on another musical group called Diana Ross and the Supremes, which I did not know that, but after doing some research, I found out I found out that. So it was really interesting. So this is a film based on three girls who form a musical group called Dream Girls and how due to the due to the manager who is played by Jamie Foxx, they they uh they have a record label, they seen a lot. So this is why like a movie based on Dream Girls and, and the ups and downs of this musical group. And there are some ups and downs in this film. Um, I won't say what some of the downs are because that would be spoilers. Um, but I will say, without spoiling anything, this movie definitely depicts how life was right for African Americans back in back in the whatever time period this was in, I think. So this was a main this was mainly an African American cast and at the time which was released in two thousand six this was one of the big budget this was one of the most expensive films that made that featured mainly an African American cast. And I think it was eighty million dollars to make the film. But yeah, this received positive reviews. I loved it. Um but one thing I definitely found out, and I won't say what it is, because there'll be spoilers, is that this film definitely depicts how several people don't respond don't or won't respond to this group. And I think the film definitely portrays what I'm talking about. Um like I, said, I won't go into spoiler details but there was one point in the film well, I'm thinking, are you serious? This happened to this group? And if you guys see the movie, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, it's, I'm going to say a little bit. Let's just say there was a scene in the film where one of the songs of the Dream Girls scene gets uh, made out by another another group and I'm thinking are you serious they stole the dream girl song just because of different color and that made me mad because the dream because that was the dream girl song to begin with and yeah um but yeah I really like how they portrayed the style of how Wife was back in the 1900s, and I felt, and 
I'm really glad this was mainly an African American cast. This was well done. And like I said, at the time when it was released, which was in 2006, this was probably one of the most expensive films with mainly an African American cast of $80 million. That number is definitely higher now, but at the time, it was $80 million. That's impressive. I'm glad that number is higher now, but like I said, this is just facts. But yeah, well, well done. And I was glad that I saw this. Anywho, that's my movie review of Dream Girls. Stay tuned for the next one, which will be about the truth. I'll just bring that a little bit more in the next movie review, but I'll just say this. It is a French film. Alright, goodbye.